Stay with us. We've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams come into tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. And his partner, from Pennsylvania, weighing in at 223 pounds, Jay Storm Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. And their opponents, first, from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 250 pounds, the technician, Andrew Gonzalez. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting teams ready to go here tonight in tag team action. And I can tell you that the entire tag team division has eyes on this match right now. That's how big this one is. And his partner, from Manhattan, New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, Showstopper. As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other.
And it looks like it'll be these two superstars kicking it off here tonight. Oh, man. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. Look at that. Oh, so tear the features clean off your face. Here comes the double team. What are they going to do here? I'm going to destroy your face. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions, but it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record setting 483 days. Thunderous slam. Ooh! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Beautiful technique. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalia and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And, oh, then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart yeah. Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents.
Corey a few. Uh, I think that'll hinder your modeling career. That should do it. Eight a pin attempt. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Oh, right to the face. He's on the defensive now. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. Oh, a face breaker! That didn't look good. Ooh, what an man. uppercut! Oof! We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. He's making a statement here with this attack. Super kick. Looking at it here. Boom! <laughs> That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Dodges that one. Nailed it. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. This could go oh, one impact. Game, set, match, this one is over. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial when a team is able to keep one a second what a cutter this one's over guys going to the cover they got it 